Say what? Hey guys, we're back playtesting some up oh, to mischief these bastard little fairies. Uh, just going through the build real quick. Uh, as I've been playtesting, I've been taking out cards. We're running two hands of binding at the moment. But uh, this is the build I'm going to be running in the game. Not running sleep anymore. I don't think that deck, that card's going to be making it back in the deck. What got the cut was a Pestermite and a Sleep for these two hands of binding. Since you've last seen this deck, let's get in there. I'll see you in the game. Just can't kick this cold. Man, this cold's kicking my ass. I'm sure you can hear it. Like, I'm low on energy. I apologize for that. Master Tempest coming in hot. Let's see if we can get Mischievous in this bitch. Flyers, one lander. If there was ever a one lander, I'd play first. I'm kind of down to check it out. Why not? I don't have a lot of funk, but I got a whole lot of aggression. If this is like dodge and burn, I lose. If this is... Oh my god, it's Sword of the Samurai. I think I can come back from this, as long as he doesn't have like an early moth. It's Amaru. Very good turn one for him. Uh, but I'd like a land. I, I like keeping this. It seems fun. Maybe not the best, but... You draw lands like a boss with this deck for some reason. I mean, Mana Flood Nation every game. I don't get it. I run 23 lands. I swear the Algies are fucked. The Algies are all fucked up. I'm telling you with this deck. Uh, man, don't keep a four land hand. Of course, you really wouldn't want to. With very very few four, four land hands, I think I'd keep this deck. Although there are some, especially if you're like on a mold of five, if you don't, of course. Uh, sure. I could beat this deck... Mm, let's see. Uh, I just don't need, obviously, Jatiti. Like, <laughs> I can't beat Jatiti with this deck. Jatiti is just over. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any counters. Although, like, if I draw, even if I do draw that one, like, kick a bro back to your hand counter spell, I'm not gonna leave it up open for Jatiti. This guy's in a tank. Master Tempest. Okay, so, Ob play is Zephyr plus Fairy Imposter. Picking up my tapped Zephyr. And there's another land. I'm, I'm fine with that. I could go Briarberry co Cohort, but this diversifies all of my creatures. And I really like what this does for me. It, it uh, spreads my damage out across multiple creatures. There are Lords in this deck, a couple of them. So, okay, Zephyr Sprite, Fairy Imposter, pick up Zephyr Sprite, and then the tapped one. Why not? And then um, next turn, I can Briarberry and lay down the Zephyr Sprite. That'll probably be the play unless I draw into like a Lord. Um, looking pretty good. Pretty standard start with this deck, I guess. Uh, it was it was an inter interesting keep. Lucky for me, I drew into two lands so far. That's pretty nice. When you keep a one lander on the draw, I like it. Of course, this like I said, this is the land drawing machine. I'm telling you for days. Oh my god, he's not swinging in. That's so good. That's so good. I would not have blocked ever. Okay, so I go land. Drawing lands like a boss, of course. I bash. I'd really like a counter spell in my hand. Uh, from now on, because, ooh, Masako the Humorless would be dope. Of course, he would have swung in, right, with his Samara. So, the play is Zephyr Sprite plus Briberry Cohort. I've got plenty of damage. Now I need, like, counter spells. Uh, he doesn't have a sword. I'm not really sure what he's got in his hand, but I'm assuming it's like a Lightning Helix. Saving it for a Lord, maybe. Uh, I don't think I'll trade... The Briarberry with Isamaru. I just have way too much damage in there. I'm just poking him to death with these freakish little fairies. And that's okay. I don't even remember what you do, but you don't fly. <laughs> you may put a plus one, plus one counter on indebted samurai. Okay, he's not going to go into debt this game because I don't think I'm going to kill any of his shit. Uh, sure, hit me. I go down to 16. Hey, you tied me. For, for now. I do have tricks. With the 2-3, which is nice. So, swing in. Flash Flyers are always good. That's why they're in the deck. I mean, it seems kind of underwhelming, doesn't it? This 4-mana 2-3. But with, like, Lords and... Just just Flash in general is rather a rather good um, ability to have on a creature. It's sick. Uh, mechanic, I guess. That's a mechanic, right? Alright, so I'm thinking he's gonna... Even if he does equip up something, he'll put it, probably put it on Indebted Samurai because it's bigger and has Bushido. And I'm not going to be blocking that anyway. I'm blocking Ismaru, Hound of Konda. I wish I was Konda, because that is a badass dog, let's be honest. That thing cannot fly. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Alright, let's see what he swings in with first. That and that. Sure, freeze. Uh, Bound Bonner attack, Samurai creature, plus one, plus oh, wow. Four mana. Uh, oh yeah, that's the card I cut kind of late, isn't it? Uh, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on Indebted Samurai. So I'm going to flash this in, kill the Isumaru. He gets a buff from Indebted Samurai. So this guy is going to go into debt a little bit. You died for me, brother. I'm forever indebted to you. That's the flavor, right? 
I guess. Oh, yeah, look at all his fallen brethren. He's just fucking pissed. He is pissed off at these fairies. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. So I can lay out both. I probably will do that. There's no, like, mass removal. I could, you know, pump these guys up in the ass, but I don't really see a point in doing that, so I'm just going to bash. And then lay both of my creatures because he doesn't have mass removal. Oh, he does. Marshall coup, right? But he doesn't have enough mana to make it relevant. And, well, you know what? Like, why? Why run this guy out? Why, why run the other guy out? Lifelink, Jatiti, let's just do it. Because look at this battlefield. Oh, my God. There's so many fairies. He just, he just doesn't. I just, I'm just i not a fan of this guy's build, really. Maybe he's trying something new, you know? That's always nice, really. Yo say, no say. He's not going to die. So I just win. Not the most exciting game, but if you don't have removal, I'm just going to poke you to death with all my fairies until you die. That's pretty standard, I'd say. Uh, take it all. Sure, take seven. Why not? He has lethal next turn if I if I swing in and he has a... Ooh, shit. Let's just, let's just do this. If he has a fog. Sickness. No blocks. Some blocks. Okay. No blocks. What is he thinking about? <laughs> this guy's making me cough. <coughs> sure, let's just let that resolve. Oh, man, he got me in a coffin fit. All right, so that's a good game one. I'll see you in game two. Well, I think this is sort of intimidating. I'm playing against a dude named X. Like, either he's, like, intense. That is a really intense uh, handle. Or he's, like, one of my exes, which I have, like, literally, like, one. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough. I don't like this. I'm going to draw me a new hand. Didn't have a whole lot of funk. Oh my god! Is this a four-lander? Talk about playing for the late game. This deck can do it. Like, concentrate on turn four. Like, vendor line click on turn three. Hopefully, let's just see where it goes. I don't know how many six, you know, moles of six I'd be happy with keeping. So, still play testing with this deck. We'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Um, I really... <coughs> oh god, man. I cannot kick this cough to save my life! Okay, well, I mean, I just draw, with this deck, dude, I draw land for days. For days I draw land. Well, this is DMB. Concentrate's going to be pretty good unless it gets countered. Vindelion click, though, also going to be good. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, all of my stuff has flash, so he has to deal with it on his turn. That is not ideal, because I'm going to have shit for him, you know? And then I'm going to also have counters. I can beat this deck. It's not... I think it's a... I don't think... I, it's a... I favor him? Memory Lapse. Mm, okay. We'll see, because now he's tapped out, right? And I know I could resolve a Vindaline Click right now if I wanted to, or resolve, like, a Concentrate, because are, are we going to be playing for the late game? I'm thinking probably so. I do want to look at his hand really bad, but drawing three cards against old D&B seems dope, right? Uh, wow. Indecisions. I think the card advantage, let's try to keep up with them on card advantage. Wow. Interesting play on my part. Another concentrate. Got all the counters in the world. Now that's dope because I can Vindaline click on his turn. If he wants to fuck around on his turn, I'll just pick up Vindaline click and just keep cycling on his shit, right? And I could do that. <coughs> I might be Vindaline clicking my own hand for a, like dumping a land. I really need to see what's in his hand though. So I know what to play around. Like Starstorm, need to be playing around that. So let's go land. Um, pass turn back. I mean, e even the Sentinels of Glenelindra is really good. It's a 2-3. It's got three in the ass. Um, yeah, we're going to pass turn back. On his instep, we're going to cast Vindaline Click. Check out what he's got in that grip. And then should be on our merry way, hopefully. Unless we just look at a nightmarish MFing hand. That resolves. Give me your shit. Electrolyze in response. Uh, unfortunately, well, I mean, I, I could Familiar's Ruse that. It would fizzle. I would pick this up, and I would still get the... Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's play... Let's play a control version of this, of this matchup. Sure, why not? Let me see your hand, my dude! 
All right, Earthquake, don't really care about. Banefire, probably do. Pongify, like he could, he has like double Pongify as a thing. So maybe it's Banefire? I'm thinking it's probably Banef Banefire. Although like he could just Pongify my stuff and then Earthquake it away, right? So maybe I take Earthquake, but Earthquake hurts him too and I'm going to stay aggro. I'm running out of time. I don't know if I like that play. Because, like, he's going to, like, double Pongify some three ones. Or hopefully he is, right? I still have a Ventiline Click open. Of course, you know, I do have Ventiline Click. What am I thinking? I put it back in my hand. So I can do this and what? <coughs> Nothing. Okay, so pass the turn back. Go get that Banefire out of his hand. And we should be on our way. What, what a weird matchup. I play on your turn. You play on my turn. I play on your turn, my dude. All right, well, now he knows that, like... When this enters the battlefield, whoa, Kraken response. When this enters the battlefield, the ability goes off. And I'm not really sure he knew that. Got the Electrolyze out. He didn't get a card off it. That's nice. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. That's a char. I can't spell stutter that. <coughs> Man, I am fighting back coughs. He's charring my nugget. Okay. Well, I wouldn't have taken char anyway. Choose player X. Uh, let's go get Banefire, right? Sulfurous Blast. Oh my god. I think that's probably probably the play because like Sulfurous Blast like kills all of my shit. That's the play. Hopefully I didn't draw in like him into like an earthquake or something or another sulf. That would suck. Um Okay, so let's see, seven mana. We can't do concentrate and sentinels. What is it? Yeah, Sentinels of Glenalindra. So we're going to bash for three. He could Pongify in response. That'd be insane. And then, okay. Well, like I could Spell Stutter that. It gets me... Yeah, sure. I get in for three. I get more tricks with the bounce. Spell Stutter comes down. Hopefully he doesn't have, like... Starstorm. He could draw into Starstorm. I may, I may have given him Starstorm, but I think that's the play there. It puts a little bit more pressure on the board. I do think I'm gonna Glenalindra, although that might be overcommitting if he has something like Sulfurous Blast. He's up to four cards now, three. So I know it's a Pongify, a Banefire, and a Blank. So all I have to blank on is his. He's running Sulfurous Blasts. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Starstorm. This is a play. I really kind of wish you would have countered that. Okay, so it's a spear. So I know that... Okay, I think that's probably his his best play. So I know two cards in his hand. It's Banefire and um, Pongify, right? So let's concentrate. Pre-com, in case... Yeah, I had a feeling he wanted to Pongify in response. Sucks that I didn't draw a counter. Nothing but land. This deck loves land, doesn't it? It draws land like a boss, man. And like, Sower is just so stupid. Gain control of target creature. Like, I could just gain control of Vindaline Click. But, you know, I can afford... Okay, so I bash. He's going to Pongify that 3-1. And I'm going to unsummon it. No. Uh, the thing is, like, the card in his hand is Banefire, right? At least he's taking one. What a game this is going to be. It sucks that I drew nothing out of that Concentration Nation. I drew nothing. I drew a bunch of land. Did I get an Unsummon or did I already have the Unsummon? I think I got an Unsummon out of it. So I got that going for me. So it's a land and he's got Banefire in his hand. Okay. Um, so he was just really quick. And uh, there's nothing I could do there. So I will Vendaline click. Cycle out my own island. That was possibly the play anyway. Head case. I mean, Sower. Do, does it have to be Sower? I don't like Sower anyway, so it's non-land, right? I guess so, yeah. That makes sense. Oh my god, dude. Lands with this deck. What is the deal? Fucking hell. Oh god. Have I drawn? What, how many spells have I drawn? I mean, seriously. With all the card draw that I've had. Uh, I mean, it's frustrating, you know. And I'm sick, so it just sounds like it's the worst day of my life. The worst day of my life. Is he drawing live to something that just kills me? He's drawing live to Starstorm, Sulfurous Blast. I mean, if I had noise in my hand, I could come back. So there it is, Sulfurous Blast. I have no noise in my hand. He has no cards. He's at eight. 
There's something. Got that going for me. I've got 10 land. Maybe I should run 10 land with this deck. Because I'm serious. It's a problem. I think there's something wrong with the algorithms. Like, I really do. He didn't cast anything. That's not a very relevant clock. I can cast like that like a trillion times on my stuff. This isn't a relevant clock any either. But if he tries to like spear it, that would be hilarious. But he would probably spear my nug, right? And then now, like, please target Zephyr Sprite. He's getting shit. It could be okay, browbeat. Wow. So do I do I take five? Let him draw two cards? Like I just can't. I have to take five, go down to two, and then he could have like Searing Spear in his hand, but like I can't let him draw three cards. There's no way that deck runs into too much noise. I'm just going to have to assume he has a land in his hand. Deal five damage to me. Get this shit. Instep Searing Spear. I rage. Remand. Okay, I'm just going to cast it again. So he has no cards in his hand. He does cycle that out. And he, if, if he cycled out to get a Searing Spear, props to him. Hopefully that's just a land. So he's on a three-turn clock. More land! Gotta love it! Uh, I'm used to it at this time. He's drawing live to so many cards. I just have to hope he has, like, a memory lapse. That's the only thing. Uh, land? Okay, that's the team off. I'm going to assume both the cards in his hand are lands. There's a lot of cards. Is there any card? Char. Okay, well, that's that wins it for him. The lands, man. The algies, bros. The algies are off. The algies are off. I'll see you in the next game. What's up, Kumart? Is that like Kmart, but maybe you like your name is Kumar? That would be awesome. That would be the greatest handle ever. Andy's on the sticks. Gotta love it. We're back in here. Playing with this screwed up algorithm deck. That's my conspiracy theory. Take it however you want. He plays first. I hate this. I have four four drops and a Zephyr. Draw a new hand. Cannot keep that. One lander. I'm on the draw with a one lander. I mean, this hand's okay if I draw a land. You know what? I'm going to keep it. It's I don't would not normally keep this. I'd probably mull down a six, but I'm going to show you that you draw lands like a boost. Yep. Oh, my God. Only one land can be played. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, that is a rule because if not, I would be on fire with the mana ramp. I could just dump my entire hand, right? All right, I'm going to quit talking about that. Just bitching a little bit. I'm sick. I got, I'm got. i on meds, you know. I can blame it on that. Oh, wow. Bounce, bounce and boon. Actually, uh, I think I'm going to unsummon that. <laughs> Just put him way behind. Um, that could be a problem, though, right? I'm going to Briarberry. Briarberry Cohort. I think this deck completely wrecks me. This deck wrecks me, doesn't it? Yeah, too much bounce, too much boon, my dude. I'm not even sure if doing that was a good thing, but he's at land drop two now when he should be at land drop three. I'm up on land, and if he wants to do that cute little play with core, uh, what is it, Skyfisher? Core, Skyfisher, is that what I said? If he wants to do that again, he's even further behind, and I can hopefully disrupt him for the rest of the game. Like, hopefully. I draw a land here 100% of the time. No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to quit joking about that. That's probably going to get annoying. I can't bash. I think I don't even cast Fairy Imposter because Spell Stutter is going to be fairly relevant and it he's going to bash. I'm going to take it and I think Spell Stutter is going to be live to like a two drop? Really? What? What two drop? Soul Warden. Not really any more two drops unless he wants to lay another core Sky Fisher. That'd be kind of dope. So I take it. Go down to a lowly 18. But I get to bash back, right? No relevant plays. That's okay. Briarberry. Yay. Lay Briarberry. <coughs> Pre-calm. Although now he does lay like a Tended Knight and I can't spell stutter it. Although I couldn't anyway. So I bash with that. We are tied on health now, Kumart. And I didn't draw the land. Interesting. Okay, well I take back everything I said. Well, maybe if you lay, if you keep a one lander, you won't draw into just mad land for days. I can't be the only one. Like, sound off in the comments. Seriously, if you feel like something is off with the coding in this deck. Like, something does not seem right. It just really doesn't. Um, yeah, that's, like I said, I'm going to try and stop there. But he's swinging in for two. I'm bashing back for four. No blocks. 
what do I walk like right into? I don't know, like Flicker Wisp here. Blade Splicer is bad. <laughs> but I have Unsummoned for his Golem. That'd be kind of dope. I mean, I don't now, but it's in the deck. Pestermite. No land. I'm okay with that. Like, kind of. I think I will bash. I think Fairy Imposter is going to put me too far behind in the race. So whatever he casts for a couple, hopefully Spell Starter is going to be good enough. Like a Tendonite I could block. But Fairy Imposter is going to put me too far behind. I have a relevant board. You know, it's four in the air. So Spell Stutter needs to be super rel. Super relevant. And that keeps him from bashing, <laughs> bashing in with Blade Splicer too. If he does a pre-combat, I don't really see why he would. Okay, so he doesn't. So I really need a relevant counter here. Bashing tins, kind of what I want him to do. I do have the Lord. Yeah, I mean I'm okay if I draw lands eventually. Spell Stutter, like I said, needs to be relevant right now. And it is Flick Wisp, flickering out. Yeah, no, flickering out. Blade Splicer, getting your own three three. Both have first strike. Yeah, negative, negatory. But he's, he's still way up. Like, I'm on a two-turn clock, how it stands. So, land right on time. Now I have... He's out of 14. Let's see, 3, 6. If I bash in, that's 2. That's 3, 6, 7, 8. And I win next turn if I do Scion of Una. Or I could, Vendillion Click. I think I'm going to go the aggro route. Whoa, freeze frame. I do think I'm going to cast the Lord because, whoa, we are mad lag. Mad lag. That's my bash. Scion. I don't know what part of combat that was, but it's too laggy. So that's three, six, seven, eight. He goes down to six. And he's going to have to kill a couple things. I'm at a healthy 10. I could always, I don't know, like the play wasn't like Vendillion click to see his hand. Because I, 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 I put him on a two-turn clock doing it this way. So, I mean, that's my play. He is wide open to do whatever he wants. I cannot fuck with him any at all. And I ideally, that's what you want to be doing with this deck. But let's see what he's got. He could turn four. Uh, Stonehorn Dignitary would suck. I could always just keep back blockers. Uh, not the best blockers, but I could tap down, like, the Golem with Pestermite. I'm Okay. See what he's got. Kim of Sky Guard. Okay. Well, that's very good card for him to have there. Because now he can bash in with his 3 3. Because, I, or actually, he could do it with his 1 1. Surely he doesn't bash with his 2 3 here. Right? If he passes back, that's even better. But, yeah, okay. Bash with that only. He should probably bash with this because I will not be blocking it. Doesn't change the clock any, so maybe that's not super relevant. He's bashing with that. Well, I actually hate that play. <laughs> Uh, no box. I go down to five. And then I'm live to three, six. I'm live to unsummon. And I have Pestermite in hand, which is good enough for the win. So let's go to do it. Oh, so beautiful. Pestermite. Tap down your 2-2. Two -two. That could have been scary, but luckily he decided to make those attacks. So I'm happy. Tap. Tap bash. And that's going to do it. Very close game against... A matchup that I think I normally just get trounced upon in. So, I like it. I'll take it. I'll take the 6-6 six di six win with it. Sure. Goes down to minus 1. Pretty excellent game. You know, it's a little short, but there's a lot more going on than what it seemed like. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry for being sick. I'm going to try and kick this sickness and get over it. I'll see you next video.